Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Fluid Mechanics and Machines. And this is lecture number 9.5. We are going to continue with the problem solving in the flow through pipe. In the earlier lectures, we discussed the theory part in the flow through pipe and the solved problems. We solve additional problems from the anionized question paper in this lecture. The learning outcome to the students at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to solve problems in the flow through pipes. Example number 11, water flows through a pipe AB equal to 1.2 meter diameter. So, we refer to the diagram. So, it is easy. AB, AB equal to 1.2 meter diameter uh, at 3 meters per second. V1 equal to 3 meters per second. And then passes through the pipe BC of diameter 1.5 meter. At the C, the pipe branches CD is 0.8 meter in diameter uh, and carries one third of the flow of flow of water in the AB. So, Q3 equal to Q1 divided by 3. Then the flow velocity branches in the branch CE equal to 2.5 meters per second. Find the volume flow rate in the AB and the velocity in BC and discharge in the CD and diameter in CE. So, every, so here we have to calculate discharge, here we have to calculate velocity and discharge. Here we have to calculate diameter and here we have to calculate the velocity. Now, discharge in the pipe AB equal to BC. So, Q1 equal to Q2. So, Q1 equal to A1 V1 which is pi by 4 D1 square into V1 which is Q1 equal to 3.14 divided by 4 into 1.2 square into 3 equal to 3.39 meters cube meter cube per second. So, Q1 equal to Q2 equal to 3.39 meter cube per second. Now, velocity. So, Q2 equal to A2 V2. So, velocity we calculate velocity A2 V2 which is pi by 4 D2 square into V2. So, 3.39 equal to discharge is 3.39 equal to 3.14 divided by 4 into 1.5 square into V2. So, solving this equation velocity V2 equal to 1.92 meters per second. Now, pipe for pipe CD Q3 equal to Q1 by 3 which is 3.39 divided by 3 equal to 1.13 meter cube per second. Q3 equal to A3 V3. So, pi by 4 D3 square by into V3. So, 1.13 equal to 3.14 divided by 4 into 0.8 square into V3. So, velocity equal to V3 equal to 2.25 meters, meters per second. And for pipe CE, Q4 equal to 2 by 3 times of Q1 which is 2 by 3 into 3.39 equal to 2.26 meter cube per second. Q4 equal to Q A4 into V4. So, pi by 4 D4 square into V4. So, substituting 2.26 equal to 3.14 divided by 4 into d4 to the power d4 square into 2.5. So, d, d4 square equal to 1.15, diameter d4 equal to 1.07 meter. The answer to the problem, discharge q1 equal to q2 equal to 3.39 meter cube per second, velocity v2 equal to 1.92 meters per second, Velocity V3 equal to 2.25 meters per second and diameter D4 equal to 1.07 meters, meters. Example number 12, an old water supply distribution pipe of two, 250 millimeter diameter of a city is to be replaced by two parallel pipes of smaller equal diameter having equal length and identical friction values, friction factor values. Find out the new diameter required. So, this is from May 2010 question paper. Diameter of the single pipe capital D equal to 0.25 meter, friction factor is constant, lengths are equal. So, diameter of the single pipe, discharge in the single pipe is Q, discharge in the two parallel pipe Q1 and Q2. For the replacement of the pipe Q, total discharge equal to Q1 plus Q2. Velocity in the single old pipe. A equal to, first we calculate the area, A equal to pi by 4 d square, 3.14 divided by 4 into 0.25 square equal to 0 0.04906 meter square, velocity equal to Q divided by A, Q equal to Q divided by 0 0.04906, which is 20.41 into Q. So, Q is unknown, discharge is unknown. So, here velocity in a single pipe equal to 20.41 times of Q. Head loss in the single old pipe, HF equal to 4 FL V square by 2 GD. So, HF equal to 4 FL into 20.41 Q square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0.25. Simplifying, this is 338.7 into FL Q square. Velocity in single parallel pipe. So, when you have velocity, so uh, actually when you have two parallel pipe, 
So velocity in a single parallel phase, small a equal to pi by 4 d square, which is 3.14 divided by 4 into d square equal to 0.75 d square, and the velocity equal to q by a. Q by small a is the area of the small parallel phase. Now q equal to q1 equal to q by 2. It is shared. The two pipes are sharing the uh, discharge. So q by 2 divided by 0.75 times of d square. So simplifying, this is 0 0.637 into q by d square. So, head loss in a single parallel pipe, hf equal to 4 fl v1 square by 2 g d, small diameter of the smaller uh, parallel pipe. So, hf equal to 4 fl v1 square, v1 equal to 0 0.637 q by d square, so 0 0.637 q by d square whole square divided by 2 into 9.81 into d. So, simplifying 0 0.0827 fl q square by t to the power 5. Now, for the same head loss due to friction, the diameter of the parallel pipe, uh, 338.700 into 4 q, fl q square equal to 0 0.0827 into fl q square by d power 5. Simplifying, 338.700 equal to 0 0.0827 divided by d to the power 5. So, d to the power 5 equal to 0 0.0827 divided by 338.7. So, diameter equal to 0 0.0827 divided by 338.7 to the power 0.2 which is 0.1894 meter. The answer to the problem, the diameter of the parallel pipe small d equal to 18.94 centimeter. Example number 13, a 30 centimeter pipe with friction factor 0 0.024 carries water to a turbine at a rate of 0.25 meter cube per second over a distance of 160 meter. The difference in the level between the water in the inlet, inlet and the turbine inlet is 36 meter determine the efficiency of transmission. Turbine outlet de outlet delivery is submerged into the trail race and the velocity at the exit is 0.4 times of velocity in the pipeline. So, diameter equal to 0.3 meter, friction factor is 0 0.024, Q discharge equal to 0.25 meter cube per second, length equal to 160 meter and the head difference is 36 meter. Velocity of the flow we calculate the area pi by 4 d square which is 3.14 divided by 4 into 0.3 square equal to 0 0.07065 meter square. Velocity equal to q by a 0.25 divided by 0 0.07065 equal to 3.54 meters per second. Now, head loss in the pipe hf equal to 4 fl v square by 2 gd hf equal to 4 into 0.024 into 160 into 3.54 square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0.3 which is 32.7 meter. So, the efficiency of transmission eta equal to h minus hf divided by h equal to 36 minus 32.7 divided by 36 into 100 equal to 9.2 percentage. The efficiency of transmission is 9.2 percentage. Example number 14, find the head loss due to friction in a pipe of diameter 30 centimeter and length 50 meter through which the water is flowing at a velocity of 3 meters per second using the Darcy's formula. This is from May 2013 question paper. So, diameter equal to 0.3 meter, length equal to 50 meter, velocity equal to 3 meters per second. The kinematic viscosity, we take kinematic viscosity of the water as 0.01 into 10 power minus 4 meter square per second. Reynolds number equal to Vd by nu with 3 into 0.3 divided by 0.01 10 power minus 4 equal to 9 into 10 power 5. The flow is turbulent. For turbulent flow, the friction factor F equal to 0.079 divided by Reynolds number to the power 0.25 which is 0 0.079 divided by 9 into 10 power 5 into 0 0.25 equal to 2.565 in 10 power minus 3. Now, the head loss due to friction hf equal to 4 fl v square by 2 g d, which is 4 into 0 0.565, 2.565 in 10 power minus 3 into L equal to 50 into 3 square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.3, which is 0 0.784 meter. So, the answer to the problem head loss due to friction equal to 0 0.784 meter. Example number 15, a 2500 meter long pipeline is used for transmission of power. 120 kilowatt power is to be transmitted through the pipe in which the water is having a pressure of 4000 kilometers per meter square at the inlet is flowing. If the pressure drop over the length of the pipe is 800 kilometers per meter square and the F equal to 0 0.006, find the diameter of the pipe and the efficiency of the transmission and this is from November 2019 question paper. So, we are given length equal to 2500 meter, power equal to 120 kilowatt, pressure at the entry of the pipe 4000 kilometers per meter square, pressure drop delta P is 800 kilometers per meter square 
and the friction factor is 0 0.006. Head at the inlet, H equal to P by rho G. So, 4000 into 1000 divided by 1000 into 9.81. Rho equal to 1000, G is 9.81. So, numerator we have to substitute in watts. So, sub solving this equation, it is 407.75 meter. The head loss due to friction, H f equal to delta P by rho G. So, delta P equal to 800 kilo square, 800 into 1000 divided by 1000 into 9.81 equal to 81.55 meter. The efficiency of the transmission, eta equal to H minus H f divided by have capital H, 407.75 minus 81.55 divided by 407.75 into 100 equal to 80 percent. And the discharge in the pipe, P equal to Power, power equal to, this, we, to calculate the discharge, we use the power equation, P equal to rho g q into h. So, substituting 120 into 10 power 3, that is 1000, equal to 1000 into 9.81 into discharge into 407.75. So, discharge equal to 0 0.03 meter cube per second. The velocity of the flow in the pipeline, A equal to pi by 4 d square, which is 3.14 divided by 4 into d square, equal to 1.274 into d square. So, velocity equal to q by A. So, Q by A equal to 0 0.03 divided by 1.274 times of D square, which is 0 0.0235 D square in meters per second. So, head loss due to friction, HF equal to 4FL V square by 2 GD. So, HF we calculated already, which is 81.55. So, this, this is equal to 4 into 0.006 into 2500 into 0 0.0235 divided by capital D square whole square divided by 2 into 9.81 into capital D. So, simplifying 81.55 equal to 0 0.00169 divided by 2 d to the power 5. So, the diameter of the pipeline equal to 0.1157 meter. So, the answer to the problem diameter of the pipe is 11.56 meter centimeter and the efficiency of transmission is 80 percentage. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I used for I, I, I published in the mechanical engineering subject. You can refer to the book for additional information uh, uh, for the subject. And there is one book of fluid mechanics and machines. You can refer to it for additional problem in the flow through pipe. And I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. Refer the channel for your better preparation. Uh, thanks for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me uh, through my WhatsApp number or mail ID for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again in another video lectures in the fluid mechanics and machine subject. Until then, bye bye.